can you guess the value of unknown here? Hello, this is Pranay Sai again. Welcome to the square roots and cube roots lecture. We shall understand a few shortcuts involved. Square roots and cube roots. First, let's understand what is a square root and what is a cube root. For suppose, let's say square of a number that is x is equal to y. Then square root of y will be equal to x. Then what is a cube root? If cube of a number is equal to another number, that is x cube is equal to y, then cube to root of y will be equal to x. To explain square root with an example, let's take 2 square which is equal to 4 and square root of 4 is equal to 2. Similarly for cube root, 2 cube is equal to 8 and cube to root of 8 will be equal to 2. Now let's discuss a couple of important formulae used in this concept. Root of xy is equal to root of x into root of y and root of x by y is equal to root of x by root of y which can be written as root x by root y into root y by root y. We have multiplied root y to the numerator and denominator and this gives us root of x y by y. So root of x by y is equal to root of x y by y. In order to find the square of a two digit number, we need to know a formula that is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And you might be confused how do we use this formula in finding out the squares. Firstly replace the plus with this slash and this becomes a square by 2ab by b square. This is the only formula you need to remember to find the squares of two digit and three digit numbers. Let's take an example of 83 which is a two digit number. The first step we have to do is take a as 8 and b as 3. And in the second step, we need to substitute these values in the formula. That is 8 square, 2 into 8 into 3 by 3 square. So this becomes 64, 48 and 9. As there are two digits in each column, let's take 0 here. In order to find out the square of 83, there is a simple shortcut. 83 square is equal to, let's come from right to left. Take 9 as it is which is the last digit and add 0 to the previous column that is 48 plus 0 you will be getting 48 itself. Let's take 8 as it is again and transfer this 4 to the previous column. We have to add 4 to 64 that will become 68 take 68 as it is as we don't have any preceding columns. So the value of square of 83 is 6889. Then how do you find the square of a three digit number? For suppose let's take 116. We use the same formula that is a square by 2ab by b square. In the first step we take a as 11 and b as 6 and in the second step we substitute it in the formula we will be getting 121 by 132 by 36. Now in the third step it is similar to what we have done. 116 square will be equal to take 6 as it is, add 3 to the previous column, you will be getting 135 isn't it? So take 5 and add 13 to the previous column and you will be getting 134. So square of 116 is equal to 13,456. Up to now we have understood how to find the squares of a 3 digit number and a 2 digit number. But in order to find the square roots, it is necessary that you memorize the squares up to 50 numbers. It might be a bit difficult task but keep in mind this will be a big advantage when you solve questions. Here you can observe I have given squares of 1 to 10 natural numbers. If you can look at the units digit of every term here, you can observe a similarity. That is for square of 1 and 9, the units digit is 1. Similarly for 2 and 8 it is 4 and for 3 and 7 it is 9 for 4 and 6 is 6. By using this we can find out the square root of any number. For suppose you are given a 4 digit number that is 4624. 
how do you find the square root of this 4 is in the units place for squares of 2 and 8 we shall neglect this value and we'll take the first two terms 46 lies in between 6 square and 7 square respectively 6 square is 36 and 7 square is 49 so 46 lies in between 36 and 49 isn't it so the units digit of square root of 4624 is either 2 or 8 let's understand what is in the tens digit it cannot be 7 as it exceeds 46 it can only be 6 so it might be 62 or 68 let's find out which of these is the right option there are only two possibilities to be the square root of 4624 to understand which of these is the right option let's take the product of 6 and 7 as 46 lies in between squares of 6 and 7 let's multiply these two that is 6 into 7 is equal to 42 now let's see whether this value is greater than 46 or less than 46 as we can observe 42 is less than 46 if the product of numbers is less than the given number then we have to take the bigger value among the two options our two options are 62 and 68 respectively as 42 is less than 46 we have to take the bigger number among the two which is 68 so square root of 4624 is equal to 68 this is how you find out the square root of a four digit number what if square root of a five digit number is to be found out for suppose let's take a number as 16641 one is in the units place for squares of one and nine let's neglect four 166 lies in between 12 square and 13 square respectively so 12 square is less than 166 is less than 13 square isn't it as 13 square is greater than 166 this cannot be the value we have already got the units place that is it can be either 1 or 9 as 13 is not in our option we have only 12 so it can be 121 or 129 let's decide which of these is the correct option for that we need to take the product of 12 and 13 product of 12 and 13 is equal to 156 and the number we have taken is 166 so it is less than 166 what if the number achieved is less than the given number we have to take the larger number among the two options that is 129 in this case so square root of 16641 is equal to 129 this is the answer you might have a doubt what if the achieved number is greater than the given number then you have to take the lesser value among the two this is how you find out the square root of five digit number and four digit number respectively hope you have understood the concept